there's nothing typical about this job. There's always something different. It's always different, it's always keeping me on my toes. Out of all the recruiters in the country, I'm the only recruiter that I'm aware of that is embedded in strictly rural communities here in Alaska and on the Delta. The communities are not connected by any kind of road system, so it's either boat or air travel in order to get there. I don't think there's any other recruiter in the country that even uses their own personal aircraft to talk to high school students about recruiting. The country's history from the day it was created until today has been full of citizen soldiers. I try to be genuine and straightforward. I stand up here and I speak from the heart because I believe in the product 100%. I believe in what our mission is and I believe in what we do and I believe that you know, the benefits that the soldier can get out of this are, are immeasurable. By the time you have graduated college, we've paid for your degree and your contract is over. We'd like to think that you love what you're doing in the National Guard and you're gonna keep that as a part-time job while you're off doing the civilian job that we just paid for you to learn, right? I do it because they deserve it. Every soldier deserves the opportunity and all the opportunities that the National Guard has to offer. Want some pencils? Pencils for school? I want them to understand that there's somebody here that's going to invest in their future as a soldier. Yeah. Time frame doesn't matter since you were born. Sergeant Masterman, if I never would have bumped into him that one day, I probably would have never joined the National Guard. And I think I'm a better person than I was a year ago. A lot more disciplined and I'd say more respectful. First of all, this is very unique here and I have no idea how well I would do somewhere else. I have the opposite problem as most recruiters. Most recruiters, you know, they've got 40 mile territory. It's really easy to reach out. They've got all the connectivity. They can just jump in the GSA and drive over to the house, whatever they need. I can't do any of that. It's so much more difficult, but they have trouble finding people that want to enlist. I'm buried in applicants. It's just difficult for me to get to them and go through the actual enlistment process with them. I'm cheap and simple, but it works. And there are so many days that I'm just like, I can't believe I get paid to go and do this stuff. It is important. You know, I believe in the military. I believe in the mission. I believe in protecting this country. I believe in protecting the state and having the network of National Guard soldiers out here to protect the communities. You know, these are hometown soldiers that are there in case of emergency. And we help our communities. We help our state. And, you know, the soldiers enjoy quite a few benefits that they may never have otherwise. I love this. Absolutely love it. We're citizen soldiers. I dread the day that I have to take the uniform off.